So what we have is we have two view objects. One of them is called department by location and it has a query based on one parameter. Okay, so finding out by location ID which departments are in that location. And we have another view object which selects all the locations based or on a specific location ID which would basically return just one record. So we want to have both of them running on the same page, allowing us to query by the parameter, and we actually want to have only one um, place where we insert this parameter. So first let's build our page in a normal way, and that would be to go over to, for example, um, the department by location. Okay, Pick up the operation called execute with params, okay, which has a parameter associated with it. Drag it into the page, um, to create parameter form like that and then we can show the results for example up here as a table okay and then we can do the same thing with the location by ID again picking up the execute with params, dragging and dropping it over here as another parameter form um, and then taking the results and showing it over here, this time we can show it as a form so that would be our basic layout and if we actually run the page at this point you'll see the um, page behaving as we would expect it to behave So our page comes up empty, you can resize a little bit here, then put for example a location here like that, it would get us the department in this location, and if we put in the same location over here, we'll actually get the location specification. Alright, so what we actually want to do is we want to combine those two fields into one operation in one field, so let's see how we'll do that. Um, let's switch over and look at our binding for a second. So this is the binding for the page, and we have two execute with parameters, right? And for each one of them, we can actually see the parameter right under here. And you can see where it's coming from. Okay? So what we actually want to do is we want this one to have the same value as this one. So we can just copy the value from here, okay, and instead of this picking it from the location ID, we're going to place it here, and that's the depth location. So this basically takes care of having the same field in the page update both parameters, right? So if we go back to the way that the page looks like, this one is now redundant, and we can simply mark it oh, like that okay the second thing we want to do is we actually want to combine the two buttons into having one button that executes both operations right and here's an interesting way of doing this um, if we actually double click the second button we can expose it in a backing bin so we'll create a new backing bin we we'll call it backing double query for example you can give it any name you want that doesn't really matter in this case and this is second query okay and you can see this is the code that is actually going to be executed right if we press this button now we can do it in two ways, we can actually expose this button and tell it okay you're going to do both operations or we can actually tell this button to do both operations, doesn't really matter so if we double click on this one we can actually go and make it do both operations so let's maximize it for a second this is the execution of this binding okay let's look at the binding again for this page okay we have execute with param this is one action binding and this is the other one execute with params one so right now it's executing the execute with params one we want it to execute both so all we need to do is basically replicate part of the code here 
for example this one okay put it in here we don't need double definition so we can just remove those things and instead of execute with params one we'll use execute with params so now it's going to execute both things when we press the button okay and this is for the second button so the first button again can be either removed in our case we're just going to remark it um, like that so the reason I'm remarking it and not actually removing it is because I want to keep the binding in place okay if I actually remove it from the UI the binding will be removed as well alright so now the page looks like we want to we can run it And now, in this section of the page, we have only one field, one button, put in a value, click the button, and both query gets executed together. So that's it. All you needed to know is how to create um, code for the uh, execution of a method, and that's simply by double-clicking the button. And a basic understanding of what's going on here in the binding, how to set the value of parameters, and how to reference specific actions.